Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Right, so this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well a Gemini Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 28th to November 3rd, a 2019, and bear with me just a couple of seconds here, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card here which stands for the topic of your week, Gemini, is going to be the Queen of Wands, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that will be the Eight of Wands, followed by the third card which represents the positive aspect of the week here, that is going to be the Seven of Swords, and then the last one which stands for the guidance that Tara is offering, uh, that will be the Nine of Swords, so these uh, uh, four cards and pretty straightforward uh, messages what Tarot has for you, Gemini. And so let's dive into it, guys. Uh, the first card which stands for the topic is going to be the Queen of Wands and it does look like that we do have a, a person who um, the, the Catalyst card is going to be the Seven of Wands, so we do have an, an active supporters here. And uh, it does look like that uh, this Queen of Wands caught you off guard in the good sense. What I mean here it is that this person uh, came about uh, at exactly the right moment when you needed someone to, co to come about, to give you a, a new proposal for a work, or when you needed a suitor, that person comes around and becomes your suitor, because the Queen of Wands, it's a very representative kind of a personality. What I mean is that it does have a strong presence. For example, comes into a social circle and everybody looks at her, I'm saying her because it's a queen, and in her grace and kind of admires her, right? So, kind of like when you needed it, a, a person of interest comes about. However, what you need to know here with uh, the queen, it is that it's not, say, a walk in the park that you can take as an, an endeavor with her either with him or with him, all right? Uh, that person usually have um, a very wild nature in the sense of that if they do only what they want to do. They do only what they like to do. There is no room for a compromise with the Queen of Wands. She is the one who dominates. She's the one who, succumb, who succumbs other to her will or bend others to, uh, to her will. And the thing is, that the others are grateful for that opportunity to be bended, uh, to their will to be bended to hers. Uh, it's a very positive card, don't get me wrong, because uh, the Queen of Wands, is, when it comes as a positive person into one's life, it usually represents a someone who kind of sees your positive qualities. It kind of sees 
what, what purpose you can serve into their life. And while their intentions are a bit selfish for themselves, it doesn't mean that their intentions cannot serve you well as well. So that could be a, a cooperation in a business uh, field, all right, where you both are going to win dividends. She doesn't do that from charity. But, you know, you can have your fruits as well as she can have her fruits also and so on and so forth. I'm saying business because usually these people manifest themselves with cute business sense and strong understanding into the human nature, which is exactly, you know, able to see what kind of positive qualities does have the other one that they are striving toward. And in this particular, uh, in this particular case, they are striving or that person is striving towards you. Now, what you need to know here, oh my God, sneeze alert, guys. A false, false alert, I think. I don't know. We'll see. But what she usually uses as a weapon, it's kind of like a um, tailoring net, nets, all right? like a spider. Before you know it, it's kind of like you're already in her web, in her net, and it's, it will be difficult for you to detach from it. So before you actually decide how to approach, you know, the proposal or the whole situation when this magnetic person comes around, it will be a good thing that you kind of build up some boundaries in between you two. So those boundaries serves to you as a breaks when the things go or kind of start develop in a, a very, very rapid fashion. The challenge here is going to be the Eight of Wands, and I pretty much cover this one, but let's see the other one. So we do have these two uh, as a catalyst that is to be the magician. And uh, the formation, it is a uh, active friends, pretty much speaks for itself. It's about maintaining your personal sovereignty and your personal rights. Um, not personal rights, but your personal independence as well. Like I said, this is a, the, the, the Queen of Wands. It is a, a person who likes to catch people in, the, in her webs, in her nets, and to dominate over them. So your, um, the challenge for yourself is going to be to maintain your character, to maintain, you know, your yeah, again, it's, it's your personal independence. Because what happens here is that if you give yourself to her completely, I'm saying her because it's a queen, but it, in, in the tarot cards, but it could be a male as well. Before you know it, you are going to find out that whatever she tells you, you are once again grateful for the opportunity to do it. So at the end of the day, you will have no kind of like personal desires, no personal wishes, only desire you're going to have is to make her happy. And isn't the purpose of one's life to make himself or herself or yourself a happy? So if her happiness makes you happy, be my guest, you know, but you have to think first and foremost for yourself. Um, additionally to that, these uh, challenges here, uh, again, are asking you to be a little bit more cautious when you approach this person. The um, Eight of Wands kind of shows a bit of a, a premature connection. That's, uh, it's no different than signing a contract without, say, uh, acknowledging these small lines that is where the true repercussions are hidden in them. The positive aspect of the week, it is the Seven of Swords and it is accompanied by the Four of Swords. So we do have an, an active supporters and these two cards are definitely talking that you can negotiate your terms through with the Queen of Wands. Now, uh, they're actually very positive because it does point that the Queen is quite a reasonable person and uh, Whomever is succumbed to her will, and is a, a, this is a a, a voluntarily a, a voluntary dominions that they are giving to the queen. Right? It is like the queen doesn't want to uh, abuse her grace and her power upon the other people. It is just the other people are grateful, so the queen can abuse her power. If you if you know what I mean. Okay, um, or if you get what I mean. So instead, you can show resilience here and kind of, and kind of step for your personal rights, and talk with her or talk with this uh, with this person that is represented by the Queen of Wands. 
have these meaningful and fruitful discussions in between each other, either in regarding business, you know, or either in regarding relationship, and establish rules is all about that, but, sh but this uh, positive aspect is very circumstantial. What I mean it is that it have a, a conditions, and the conditions are residing into the, uh, into the challenge that the card shows, which is maintaining your sovereignty, your rights, you know, uh, uh, and your personal independence, maintaining your personality. It is uh, what I am trying to say here. And when you do so, the queen is going to see that you are actually strong as her, because this queen, this specific person, she or he likes challenge and when she sees that you are a challenging individual challenging in a sense that you do not jump as high as you can when you, when she says so but you actually ask why should i jump all right she finds interest in you she finds um she finds herself compelled to study you because for once she could not read the person that stands in front of her right and that will provoke a, a very Mm, faithful companionship or fellowship I would say in between you two either in regarding business or either in regarding career and the last card that we do have it is the guidance that Tsaro is offering that is to be the nine of swords uh, once one second guys that is to be the nine of swords accompanied with uh, the uh, with the king of cups and these two cards are a uh, active uh, neutrals so what they tell us that is that uh, you need to to have a look at the um, at the consequences of what that operation uh, cooperation is going to present to you once you jump into it. Okay, whatever consequences are to follow, because everything does have its consequences. They are neutrals because it looks like that once you understand those a. Those consequences, your opinion and your strive for making a decision, should you make it or break it, is going to change a bit. What these cards here are pointing, and I'm sorry if it sounds insulting right now, but it looks like that you are not emotionally balanced to make that decision straight away when you meet the person queen of wands it is because once again it's just when her grace illuminates the room that she enters in everybody feels compelled to bend under under his will and for that reason you know before you actually uh, kind of like melt down uh, in in her presence you got to think of you know what is to happen when you actually start our business or when we actually start our relationship. What happens when we start our relationship and there are so many other people that wants to be with her, all right? Or what happens when we start our business when there are so many other people that wants to make business with her, all right? Or that she is kind of control freak, for example, because it's not excluded, okay? It's, it's just, it's not. So that being said, um, Gemini, it does look like that you do have a quite of a big decision to make throughout this week or kind of like a, a quite of a, a big alignment to make throughout this week. I hope you do it right, guys. And that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Till then, bye.